Welcome back to another Fast Track video update from PRI 2013. And this guy needs no introduction. Host of Dirtcast and, and uh, does PR and marketing at the Virginia Motor Speedway. Bill Sawyer's Virginia Motor Speedway in uh, Jamaica, Virginia. Got a great 2014 season coming up. It's Dave C. Dave, welcome to the program, buddy. Oh, this place is crazy. I'm tired. I forgot for a second there that I had to yeah. give the mic you, to yeah. you. <laughs> uh, Matt, what's what you been working on here at PRI for, for VMS for the upcoming season? Working on some contingency programs and the um, we have a new project truck. We've got a division called the Sportsman Division, um, and we're going and we are going to actually we're allowing truck bodies in our limited late model class if they want to, our, our collision one uh, lim a limited stock class, and our sportsman class. Well, we bought a sportsman chassis. And if you go to our website, vamotorspeedway.com, or our Facebook page, you'll see that you'll be able to follow along with the build-out of turning a race car into a race truck. Absolutely. And, and of course, uh, race trucks. Everybody loves trucks. Man. I think, in my opinion, the NASCAR camping wall trucks are more exciting than the Sprint Cup cars. Well, and that's one of the reasons why we're doing what we're doing is the, the, uh, the exposure they got when they went to Eldora and how hot they are right now, we are going to, you know, make that, you know, try to, I mean, if you look it out in our parking lot, probably 70%, 80% of trucks. Our, our trucks. Gotta get through the snow. <laughs> so, we're snowed in in Indy. Uh, look, we're in, we're in, we're in farm country, buddy. <laughs> yeah. You know, where we are, so everybody drives a truck. Absolutely. And, you know, truck racing had its success of that in asphalt racing. It kind of dwindled out but into the, you know, the NASCAR truck series deal. But, um, you know, we could see a progression of the dirts, you know, dirt track racing taking these trucks seriously. Yeah. See, look, I keep playing Stan, and I think Stan's going to work on it. I, you know, he needs a truck. He really does. And um, I, it's because, you know, that market, you know, if you're a marketing guy or, or if you're into advertising, that market is spending money. Right. The truck market is. So I think that, you know, uh, it makes sense for us. We love, you know, we love a little project. It gives us something to do over the winter. We're going to put a 604 GM crate uh, engine in it. Uh, we're going to have a five-star uh, short track body. Uh, looks like we're going to have a Willys carburetor. Cause there you go. Are, those are some of the things that we've worked on out here. Yeah. Uh, got, a, got a meeting today to try to get some brakes for it. So we'll... <laughs> Absolutely. We are talking with, uh, with Dave C. from Virginia Motor Speedway. And he also does Dirtcast, the guy behind Dirtcast. So if you ever want to go to Dirtcast.com, check out some of the great audio interviews you do with some of the top stars. And everything, not just dirt late models, but modifieds, big block modifieds. I mean, you name it, you cover it. We try. And to be honest with you, I don't, I don't do it for me. I do, it, I do it to promote the sport. I do it to help promote Virginia Motor Speedway. That is, uh, you know, because I have a voice, I, I get to do more for, for Virginia Motor Speedway, like you do with Fast Track, with all these uh, videos and, and updates. I mean, this is this is the, the new millennial uh, thing. Is, is this is the new PR look, market? Look, look we're, we're looking into a phone right now. It's not even a camera; it's a phone. So I mean, it's uh, you know, technology is taking over. Uh, cell phones iPads, you know, we're really heavy into the social me uh, media uh, at the racetrack, and we're going to get even uh, more so this year. Um, we haven't announced it yet. We've got a big announcement on coming out here very shortly about what we're going to do weekly at the racetrack. I don't want to give it away because I, I want to have a press release. Don't give out all the secrets. I, I, I can't. I can't. Okay, we'll talk about Aaron. So Aaron's in the Fast Track Pro Late Model deal and, well, and putting that in one division for 2014. And by the way, folks, if you need new furniture, appliances, electronics, yeah. go check out your local Aaron store. The home of uh, Lucky Dog. It, yes. And someone's going to be a Lucky Dog this year. Some We're going to have a Lucky Dog winner every week at Virginia Motor Speedway. And they have all, they have uh, graciously um, come on board not only to do the King of the Commonwealth, uh, but also to be our title sponsor for our Fast Track Pro Late Model Division. Absolutely. So that means we're, we've got a we've already announced it that we have the, 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 that series will have their own purse, their own championship point fund. They won't be lumped into our limited late models. So it, we're getting a huge amount of interest right now, and um, we hope that we will. Um, uh, it, we hope that that division will actually race by itself. Absolutely. And again, we're talking with Dave C. Go to VAMotorSpeedway.com, VAMotorSpeedway.com on your on your um, your web browsers. And, of course, uh, they're on Facebook. They're on Twitter. They're on all that good stuff. And, uh, Instagram. Pinterest. Instagram. Instagram. Instagram pictures. Yeah. Pinterest, Dave, for the ladies. 
And that's for the ladies? That's right, the Pinterest is for the ladies. We're going to have a Google Plus here shortly. I mean, yeah, we're everything. There's something called Flickr now? Is it Flickr? I don't do Flickr. Google Plus? There's Google. all sorts of social media. I, I'm going to give every, I'm gonna give everybody a secret. I, I, you know, Google Plus was supposed to be the Facebook for, 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 my, you know, for Google. Yes. It, it really hasn't turned out to be that way. But if you're a business or if you're a racetrack, set up a an account and actually put content up there because Google uses that, Google Plus stuff, to rank you higher in their searches. Well, I'm glad I still do that. So, you know, if, you, if, you know, if you're a series or if you're a racetrack or something, just, just set, it's easy. Just set up a, an account. And uh, so that way if somebody's looking for you on the Internet, you pop up. You're on the first page. There you go. There you go. Dave C. from Virginia Motor Speedway. Final thoughts on PRI before we pack it up and get out here. It's been, a, it's, it's been a grueling, cold, but exciting bench talk racing three days. Yeah, it's been frigid cold. started out, I think, three degrees. Or, or Snowing it was, when we got was that, it was, Yeah, it was, and it was actually uh, minus four one night. <laughs> Um, it's been cold, uh, but I'm tell you, it's been a little overwhelming. This, the show this year is so huge, um, but again, uh, everybody's under one roof. It's not two different uh, two different trade shows. Anymore. Right. I mean, although we do have cars down in Carolina, right. and I think that that definitely serves the southern uh, so, southern. Area. So I think it'll be, you know, it's it's been a great show. And of course, there's another big motorsports expo coming up in Imperial. Pennsylvania, Imperial Pennsylvania, and that is the uh, the, the Motorsports Expo and uh, Trade Show up in, in January. So, and uh, I'm pretty certain you'll yeah, be there. Yeah, we're going to be next. We're, we're booth mates. We're next to each other. Fast Track and VA Motorsports. Ultimate Super Late Models and the Fast Track Racing Series will be there in 2014. Big, big news coming from Fast Track and VA Motor Speedway, possibly the touring event. We're working on it. We've got we're that weekly we're deal and go from touring. I know a lot of people would like to see a touring race out there. I think a, I think 24 crate late models. You know who we really would really like to see one? Track. Daniel Bagger. Daniel Bags Bagger, yes. You know why? He lives in Richmond now. Exactly. We had him on for an interview last week, as a matter of fact, and he was telling me that story. So, definitely. Dave C., thank you, thank you buddy. Appreciate I know you're busy. Mechanicsville, Virginia is Dave C. And again, this has been a, well, I've got to wait till we're <laughs> This has been a uh, fast track video update here from PRI. And we got some more great interviews. We're going to close it out with the champion, Rambo Dennis Franklin, here in just a bit. Don't go anywhere. Again, follow us on fasttrackracing.com, Facebook, Twitter.